quick video on GE washing machine. These are your suspension rods, the two blue ones which go in the front. There's red ones that go in the back. These are stamped with this little clamp, uh, stamped end that I've cut off and threaded. These are stamped like this though. So you have to buy the entire rod assembly. These springs kind of go out every once in a while. They're three inch springs. The diameter is 0.1 uh, inches in the, the wire. And there's like nine or 10 coils. Um, and the diameter is about one and three sixteenths. So you can find these at spring manufacturers. But essentially what I did is just hacksaw this end off to get access to the parts and buy a new spring like this when these go bad, which I guess goes, they go bad quite often after a while of having it for a few years. Uh, and that just allows you to re-put back together this guy. Uh, this I threaded with a M6-1 uh, um, threading. So that's an M6 bolt nut there. Uh, that then lets you put this thing back together and keep the rod and everything else, but might want to put some Loctite on that uh, once you get it on there. But that little difference in the rod length isn't going to make any difference at all. And then it just comes back together like this. Saves you, uh, I don't know, the spring's probably six bucks, but these are $15 each. And the red ones in the back, which I can't tell any difference at all from the front, uh, looking at the springs or anything, they actually are $72 each. So I figure getting the same springs on all of them and just putting this bolt on there, threading the rod uh, when you need to replace these uh, will be a good, good savings on that and something you can easily do. Thanks for watching.